Um, I would like to introduce the next speaker, um, someone who is, uh, has been working behind the scenes um, tirelessly and someone who is very close to our hearts. Please give a very, very warm welcome for Mariam Namazi. Thank you, my gorgeous, lovely people. Welcome, you apostates, you heretics, you blasphemers, you free thinkers. It is so good to see you, so good to see you, especially after COVID and the violent attack on our beloved and courageous Salman Rushdie. We know he is not the first. We know he is not the last. There are countless others languishing on death row, in prison, in hiding, buried in mass graves. The best of our best cut down by the likes of the Iranian regime, which we know is directly responsible for the violent attack on Salman Rushdie, fundamentalists of all stripes, and of course, in human ideologies, including religion and Islam, that justifies and legitimizes violence and submission. I accuse them all for state crimes, for religious crimes, for crimes of the religious right. I also accuse all those who are complicit and silent states that appease this movement, and the cowards that side with murderers and blame victims. But as the Chilean poet Pablo Neruda said, you can cut the flowers, but you can never stop the spring. There are too many of us. We are the innumerable, yearning, and not just yearning, demanding, insisting, without apology, without shame, the right to live and breathe and love and think as we choose. This is the ex-Muslim movement. It is the new civil rights movement of our era, challenging obscurantism, religious dogma, hate, violence, extremism, fear, submission, inhumanity, with reason, creativity, love, nonviolence, courage, humanity, and dissent. Like all civil rights movements, it is transgressive, it is subversive, it is deemed dangerous for daring to reimagine a world without permission, a world that criminalizes not us, but the fatwas, the Sharia courts, and other religious courts, theocracies a world that celebrates blasphemy and apostasy and dissent. Yes, we know that history is always written by the victors, by the powerful, by the privileged. But there is always also a corresponding history of resistance, of dissent, challenging the powerful, challenging the privileged, challenging the sacred and taboo. And it's the only history for human progress that matters. However many flowers they cut, and they cut, and they cut, our movement will forever be etched in the history of resistance. And spring, it is a coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.